down. Got down. Yeah. Got down. What is up guys? Uh, welcome to Swedish Tea. This is a YouTube channel where I'll provide you with programming videos. I'll show you my different projects. I'll go through code and learn to become better programmers together. Um, in this video, I'll go through Katis and that's a problem archive, uh, the system for uh, verifying solutions in competitive programming. Um, but it's a great tool to um, learn programming or learn a new language as well. And it's been a great assistance in my programming career. So um, this is the third time I record this video. So and it's extremely hot since I can't have my AC on and it's like 30 degrees in Sweden right now. Um, but I'll do my absolute best to uh, give you a good overview of Katis. Um, so first of all I think I'll uh, go through why Katis is great for you. Katis is great to build a practical experience in uh, programming. It's a great way to get your hands dirty and do some programming. Uh, solve problems, um, think logically, learn how to find bugs uh, where they usually occur. Um, it's a great way to kind of simulate what programming is like outside um, just pure like school tasks uh, etc. Um, it also has helped me a lot with learning and understanding time complexity and since Katis is built around um, checking the basically the runtime of your solution uh, and giving you a ranking according to that. It's pretty fun and you get incentivized to uh, program fast to kind of optimize your solutions uh, the runtime um, according to what is fast. Treat input correctly um, not having unnecessary loops um, doing it uh, the right data structures I mean, all of these things are basically th things that you get to think about and you uh, get experience in. So that has been a great addition in my um, kind of thinking and programming. Katis is also great for you to uh, use if you want to dive into a new language or learn some new features of a language. If you want to kind of maintain your skills in a language. Um, it's a great way to do that. Uh, Katis currently has support for I think around 20 languages um, and is built around having a number of input samples and uh, then your script uh, should produce a number of expected output samples. So um, there's a lot of opportunity there to kind of use whatever language uh, possible but Katis supports I think around 20 languages. The next thing is Katis dri drives you to code um, and it also drives you to do it fast and accurately and you can check whether your solution is correct or not and I think that's a good way to um, know that you do the right thing all the time and kind of make sure that you're not doing some sloppy programming. Um, Katis is also good for you to develop a portfolio uh, especially if you don't have a, a lot of other like side projects going on. Uh, if your GitHub is not that up to date, if you don't have uh, that many good repositories, maybe um, a good way to show that you're active and show that you have uh, skills, uh, show that you're working on doing uh, program good programming and you're do thinking about doing it fast and you're uh, actively trying to become a better programmer. Um, I think that's a good way to show it, to have some sort of uh, GitHub repository uh, of your CATI solutions uh, where you can kind of discuss with other people also solutions. I think it's a good way to show that you're um, driven. So uh, if we want to take a look at uh, CATIS here, uh, we can see that you navigate to open.catis.com uh, that's the website and 
here you can choose I'll just log out here you can choose to log in or sign up with uh, a number of different options uh, Facebook Google LinkedIn uh, or your email um, which you then have to just verify uh, I've chosen to sign up with my Google account um, and then um, I'll be redirected to my profile here I can see my current rank uh, and I haven't worked for that many days on the open catis since we have a closed or like internal catis at uh, KTH so uh, just a brief catis is um, developed I think initially uh, by the program programming department at KTH and has since been like this open version has been uh, been developed um, I'm not too sh certain about the details but I think it started at KTH at least um, so we use it at in some courses uh, also at KTH but that's the internal version so uh, I have not used this open cut list uh, for more than a few days and I've used it to refresh uh, and uh, do some coding in Go um, so this is my current score you accumulate scores based on the problems you solve and the if the solution is accepted and based on the problem uh, difficulty so in this case uh, we can see that I've done a lot of tries on for example this specific problem I did this today actually and it took me quite a while to um, to get my solution to be accepted since I had this time limit exceeded error so here you can see the status of the submission so this is individual submissions and what kind of problem occurred or if it was accepted and also the CPU runtime which it uh, produced so uh, on this particular case I had a problem with the Go uh, reading from standard input uh, and not um, by default doing it via buffers as in for example C uh, languages so that was kind of a, a problem I discovered that the FMT scan um, the, uh, the default scanner was really slow basically so that caused my solution to be very slow but I figured this out and I also learned a bunch so that was uh, a good example maybe of how CATIS can help you uh, discover new things and force you to kind of um, learn new things about a language in that sense also um, and in this, this case you can go in and look at the problem uh, you can look at this is a problem page and you have a similar one for each problem and it's built up in the same way you have your problem, problem description then you have your uh, description of the input and what kind of output is expected um, and also the sample uh, input and outputs that are provided, the known samples, uh, that is. Since CATIS also has a number of test cases that are unknown for the user. And this way uh, CATIS can um, verify that your solution is correct in more cases than just uh, yeah, these two. Um, and if you want to uh, download these samples, you simply click here and you'll get your uh, zip file with uh, a .in file for each input and a .ans file for the outputs. Um, so that will be uh, the way you solve problems later on. You download it to your local folder. I can show you here. Um, yeah, this will be what it looks like when you have the inputs and outputs, and then. You, I usually put my script um, uh, like this, and then I have a folder for each problem in my Catis Solutions uh, directory. And inside, I have a folder where I place the samples, um, and then I can pass them on via the in standard input into my script. Um, then we can see the difficulty of this problem and we can see the CPU time limit uh, which in case was this case was one second and it caused me a lot of headache um, we can also look at the statistics for uh, a certain problem and you can see there were 
uh, you where like other people have errors. Um, so 44% uh, got accepted here, but you can see that 31% of the submissions got a uh, wrong answer and, timely, uh, and you can see the different like errors here as well and kind of gauge and think about okay uh, other people seem to have a lot of problems as well or maybe a lot of people don't have problems and that can maybe um, help you a bit in your frustration. Also you can see um, a short high score of each um, in each language and an overall high score board and this shows you uh, the top solutions based on runtime and here you can see the top 10 fastest solutions in Go for example and I after I managed to solve my big headache I got actually the second fastest time here um, so then you can see yourself there and be happy and hopefully you will one day also see yourself in the rank list um, if you chose, choose to display your uh, profile publicly that is um, you can see these guys have a lot of scores um, since you only got two two points for that one there'll be uh, some couple of thousand problems before being there but um, it's a fun way of learning and uh, it's kind of a fun way to just feel that you accomplish something and uh, you maintain a skill or something I think it's a great a great platform uh, here you can actually choose anonymous mode so you can hide yourself from other users if you don't want your uh, public uh, ranking to be shown or something like that uh, you can also choose to represent a certain country, a subdivision or university, uh, which could be fun if you have something to represent or if you you want that. You can choose a profile picture uh, and your default programming language uh, in this case. Yeah, so that's the basics of Katis and I can also uh, just before I quit, I want to give a brief shout out to my blog, uh, which you can find here in the description. It's called Swedish Tea, just as this YouTube channel. And I have started to post frequently there just now. It's um, fresh, up and ready. Um, here we have two posts, one about actually becoming a better programmer with Katis, uh, part one. And this is a pretty similar blog post uh, with this video. Uh, the content is fairly similar but it's a bit more in detail on why you should use Katis and what it is. So uh, I think you should check it out if you are interested and stay tuned for more. So I'll be solving a real problem in Katis very soon from scratch and showing you exactly how you do it and then I'll continue solving other problems in Katis as well. So this will be kind of an ongoing series where we look at different techniques, different solutions, maybe even different languages, but I think I'll start with Go uh, since I find it fun myself um, and we'll go from there. So yeah, alright, see you soon and stay tuned.